Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video if you have a BMW guys 3 series. I'm talking about generation E90, 91, 92, 93 guys. And you need to remove or replace your coolant overflow bottle also known as coolant tanks. Stay with us guys, we'll cover everything from start to finish. Make sure guys you stay until the end because we'll share something very important. And if you don't do that after you replace your tank, you can actually damage your engine, overheat it, and that can cost you guys thousands of dollars in repairs. So, before we start, if you need to buy a new tank, any parts, tools, BMW original coolant, any of that guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Number two guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos, and specifically on BMW 3 Series, we'll have close to four, 500 videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let us show you guys what we have here. The front end is completely taken apart because we'll be making so many videos. We're in the process of uh, making video for testing for leaking fuel injectors and all that as well. But uh, now that video will apply to multiple engines guys. And with the front end completely removed, we can show you with the great detail where all the hoses are and all that stuff. First. Before we start, you need to drain your coolant. Number one guys, drain your coolant. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put the link in the description of the video below to the video that explains how to drain the coolant on your BMW. Check it out. Now, uh, make sure you stay until the end. You have to do something very important guys. But before we start, check this channel out if you have a BMW or any other car. Electrical Car Repair Life. This is our second channel and we have helped millions of people guys for car diagnostic, trouble codes, engine codes, engine transmission lights and things like that. So, our coolant already drained. You can see we don't even have the radiators, but with that uh, out of the way, we can show with the great, great detail how to do that. What you need to do first, guys, you need to remove that upper hose. So here, okay, that spring, lift it up a little bit. It comes to a certain location. You can see how it gets stuck, okay? And then grab it, it will be stuck. Be careful guys not to break it and pull it out. Okay, perfect, came out guys. This line is out, I'll just uh, put it right here so I don't break it. Okay, great. Now, we need to do the bottom hose guys. The bottom one is the one that will be stuck big time because it's a pretty fat big hose. So leave that spring, it comes to a certain location, then grab that hose, eventually guys wiggle it a little bit, careful not to break it and it comes out perfect this one is out as well now you have an o-ring here make sure everything's good because otherwise you can develop a leak if you install a new tank after that guys get a 10 millimeter socket two bolts that we need to remove one and then another one perfect at that point guys you're ready to go ahead okay and pull your coolant overflow tank out. Now, right here you have one sensor on the bottom. This is for the level. That's the level sensor, guys, right here. Okay, unplug it and you're ready to go. Now, that tank, you can see, okay, let, let me just pass it to somebody, that ear on the bottom, right here, okay, that goes in that bushing over here. So later when you install it, make sure it goes here, that's how it supports it. So. Uh, this is it guys, that's how you do it. Now, it's super important when you replace it, everything is in reverse order, we took it apart, you need to bleed your cooling system. Why? Because if you don't bleed the cooling system, what will happen actually, you can guys overheat your car really, really bad. And that can cost you a new engine or the engine rebuild. We have a special video that explains how to, uh, how to bleed the cooling system on a BMW 3 Series, and I'll put the link in the description of the video below, together with the link for the video that explains how to drain the coolant. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.